Everyone deserves to feel safe at home. But as the saying goes, a house is not a home. Unfortunately, this is sometimes the case for more than 11,000 families in Wicomico and Somerset County is living under the poverty line. But a collaboration between four powerhouses on Delmarva is working to transform many of those houses into homes. And joining us to discuss the Healthy Homes Initiative are Dr. Stephen Leonard. He is the president and CEO of Title Health. Donald Taylor is the development director with the Chesapeake Housing Mission. And Somerset County Health Officer Danielle Weber is also here. Thank you for being here this afternoon. Thank you. Okay, Dr. Leonard, I want to start with you because statistics show that injuries related to substandard housing pose a significant risk to people over age 65. Can you speak on that? Yeah, sure. No, they do. Uh, when you look at injuries uh, due to falls, especially falls around uh, the home that might mm -hmm. be unsafe, uh, these are patients that we see in the emergency room. It is the leading cause of those injuries for anyone over 65. So anything we can be doing to help make homes safer and contribute to less folks having an unplanned stay with us is uh, something we're excited about. Yeah, yeah. So what ultimately brought these organizations together on this project? Well, we we're very interested at Chesapeake Housing Mission on how do, you, how do you prove what you're doing has an impact. And so one of my great board members at, at Chesapeake Housing Mission, Peggy Bradford, had a good friend named Kathy Fiddler, Dr. Kathy Fiddler mm -hmm. at, at Title Health. And then a conversation ensued about um, if you bring us the numbers, we can provide the impact and the medical cost. So five years ago, we started um, measuring before we helped the client, we built a ramp or we improved the floor. Mm -hmm. And then six months afterward, we came back and to see what the impact was. So we reduced falls 97%. Wow, that's incredible. And we measured about 150 clients over a three year period. Mm -hmm. And Title was able to provide the medical cost before and the medical cost after. That's where the, the gap was because yeah a half a million dollars in savings over two years. That's incredible, that's wonderful. All right, so Danielle, what is the Healthy Homes Initiative doing to identify families and homeowners in need of uh, living condition improvements? So I think that's where we'll be able to help from the health department perspective. We have case managers that are going in and out of homes. We have programs that are geared to keep people living independently in their homes. And hopefully with our staff out there and seeing some of the conditions that actually are perfect for this project, we make the referrals into the, the housing mission sure. initiative. Sure. And Donald, uh, the Chesapeake housing, housing Mission is assuming the lead in providing designs and materials to complete mm -hmm. uh, necessary repairs. How does it feel to spearhead oh. such an endeavor? <laughs> Well, there were two or three of us that started with Asbury Church on Mission Stapalachia, and we formed Chesapeake Housing Mission in 2010, not knowing what we were going to get. And, um, and we were a Christian mission, and we believe that we need to help our, our brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And the volunteers, the way they feel after spending the day with a client, they did not know. And they truly gave the greatest gift that they can give in life is a day of your time that sure. you can't get back. And so I, it, it's, it's phenomenal. When you talk to our volunteers, we have about 1,000 a year. We do about 110 projects. And uh, it's, it, it's a great gift for, yeah. for me personally. Yeah, and, and, and you're planning on conducting follow-ups with the, the residents? Every time we do a job, uh, we, have, we collect the data. Mm -hmm. And then six months later, we reach out to the clients and find out how many times have you fallen? How many times have you been to the ER? And then we co corroborate that with the title health data, which is how we come up with our metrics. Yeah, yeah. And Dr. Leonard, uh, what kind of overall community impact do you think this uh, collaboration will have? You know, I, I, think it, I think it's great. You can look at it at the macro level, but I, I think what we're excited about is just one family at a time in many ways. Uh, we, our, our leadership team, and uh, I know a no number of other corporations and business businesses have volunteered as well. We've seen firsthand that impact, and I can tell you it's, the numbers are great, but when you really build that ramp to help somebody who's fallen a dozen times in the last six months getting out of a home, mm -hmm. and then they haven't after that, um, it is, uh, we're excited about that. And, uh, 
be able to participate, and I definitely encourage other businesses, other volunteer groups to really reach out, not to overwhelm uh, the organization, but we want to, mm -hmm. in many ways, uh, continue to grow the effort. And I think that's the nice thing about this collaboration. It's a starting point, but it's not necessarily the ending point. I think the data and the outcomes are really going to hopefully substantiate additional growth so we can have a wider impact across Delmarva. Yeah. What a wonderful collaboration. Thank you so much for coming in and you're talking about welcome. it. Dr. Steve Leonard, Donald Taylor, and Danielle Weber, thank you for all the hard work you're doing. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.